Coach Loyola Marymount jumping up with Chris Knight. Referee John Moreau throws it up, and Mackey has it. So do the Yellow Jackets with Kenny Anderson running the offense. And we should see the Lions in a zone most of the night, Larry. Yeah, they're in a 2-3 right now. Uh, Georgia Tech, a much taller, more physical club on the inside than Loyola Marymount. Hill swings it right side. Anderson nice fake pass. the shot. Geiger for two. And look at this. Terrell Lowry open for a three. A little long. And Mackey has it for the Jackets. They outlet to Anderson. What a move. And he's fouled. Watch it again. He's going to say, I can take it by anybody. He went by Lowry. Look at that. A little dipsy do inside. Got attempts from the line against Georgia the other night. Mackey is a screen, but couldn't hit the open jumper. Here's Terrell Lowry, right side for Craig Holt. Anderson steals. Here he goes. Look at those hands. Not even. Jay Hillock watching as Matt Geiger and Brian Hill both checked in for Georgia Tech. There's Hill kicking it on the break to Anderson, and he did a 360 again. Last team standing one. It was a real endurance contest with Kenny Anderson, a real star in that game, and he's just back in this one. Anderson on a pass from Brian Hill. That's a two. Good left-handed move. A little too strong with the shot. Geiger sees Barry right wing. Hold back to close oh, on him. Pass. Anderson scores, and he's fouled. Good pass. John Barry, that's the way you run it, pal. You get to the ball to the open man. Kenny Anderson was the oh. for his last two years. I think the most impressive statistics that Bob and a lot of these clubs are gonna forsake all of these great independent matchups or cross-country matchups to get back into conference play. And that's where it really gets down to the nitty-gritty. Tech getting ready to go back to the ACC and of course Lord and Raymond going to the WCC. Kenny Anderson with 18. Wanna play in this place a time or two. Loyola, Mar Loyola Marymount now has changed their defense. They've gone away from the zone. Kenny Anderson takes advantage. 20 points. Perry with a steal. John Perry can't hit it, but he got it back. Gets people off the floor. Three points for him. Where are you hanging around? Look at job staying close to 10. They've been down by 12. They're down by just eight now. Demolic for Anderson. That's a three-point attempt, and he does not for the freshman tonight. Geiger looking to get it in. 11-point game with 15-15 to go. Anderson, left-hander, three-pointer. And Geiger with the jump hook down low. The screen to free Peabody underneath. And terrific pass down in there by Harris. So Peabody with three on the day. Look at that pass by Raheem Harris. Here's the play prior to that turnover right there. Kenny Anderson with a real quick pass in. Duty here this evening to give folks some breathers. Raheem Harris and O'Connell trying to trap in the backcourt. Brian Hill breaks the pressure. Nice reversal to Anderson, and that's a three. Kenny Anderson with 31 now. Body on the inbounds play. Nowhere to go. He looked up and saw Newbill and Mackey standing there. Oh, a bullet. He caught it. Always interests me. You need to look at a guy like this. I mean, you usually don't draft guards in a member of the Southeastern Conference. And now, obviously, a member of the performances of the past in five. Here's Anderson running. 94-73 the score. Didn't force that situation, so a lot of uh, Lions down there decided to pull it back out. Barry switching it. Anderson runs by Slater. What a touch. Here's Lowry for three. Again, well off the mark. He's not having a good night at all from the field. Down the court, Kenny Anderson. Layup drill. Here he comes back the other way. It's 179 now. Mollick to Barry. Inside to Geiger. Kenny Anderson has been out there waiting. Swish and a new career high for Kenny. 42. Holt at the other end short. Very running. He's got Anderson left. Ooh, a little behind the back. And Trey again. Thank you. 45 now. Lowry looking. 
looking to answer. Missing again. And we had a whistle and a foul. Well, we've talked about him so much tonight. He can do so many things with the basketball. This is one of them. He can shoot the ball, and he can shoot it from anywhere on the floor. That's one of the advantages of when you're a guard coming out of New York City and you can handle the ball and you play against good competition. You learn to take it inside and handle it, but you also learn to be able to shoot the ball outside. And he can do a little bit of both. Team for John. 107-81, six and a half to go. Anderson is nearing the all-time Georgia Tech points record for a single game. And a lot of time to get it. Here he goes. Dishes. Geiger. Nice touch. Walker. Good pass. O'Connell. Way short. Anderson with the rebound. Immediately running. Looking. Saw him cast a glance to Brian Hill over the that that side. John Berry from the corner with a three. And that's 25 for him. He yeah, even runs like a European, up on his toes. You know, you watch him run. Right up on, right up on the edge of his shoes. Kenny Anderson underneath. Mackey, yes! Kenny Anderson is getting everybody in the act here now. Mackey. You, you talk to people coming out of New York up there, and, and they'll all tell you whenever you measure someone against another player, that's the greatest compliment you can have. And people in New York measure all of the point guards that come out of New York to that young man, Kenny Anderson and probably will for the next decade or so. Walker on the miss. James Munlin just in with the rebound. Anderson, high off the glass, and he's tied the all-time Georgia Tech scoring record of 47. Terrell Lowry at the line. Petruska keeps it alive. Jump hook, and there's a tip by Chris Knight. First field goal of the night. Here comes Anderson. Is this it? Yes! Chris Knight, offensive rebound. Put up and missed by Christian Scott. Petruska, Bolanis has it. Down the court, Brian Hill. Anderson left side, and Hill will do it himself. And he hangs to avoid the injury. is leaving. Arrest that man. He went 50 downtown. <laughs> Ryan Hill complete, completes the three-point play. He will leave. And Brian Gimberlin will make his first appearance of the year when we return. Three team to go. It's over in Atlanta. At 6-11. Two seconds to go. Gemberling launches it high off the glass and it is over. 135 to 94. Bob, it was really the Kenny Anderson show tonight with 50 points. Yes, 50. He's a tremendous player. It'll be a lot of fun to watch him for the rest of this basketball season. Happy holidays to you, Larry, and to all of our basketball fans watching tonight. For Larry Conley, Bob Carpenter, good night from Atlanta.